Testing visual acuity is an important step in evaluating your patient's vision. Begin by making sure the lights are appropriately dimmed. Are those glasses that you wear for distance? Yes. Perfect. So put those on for me. An assessment of visual acuity should always be done prior to dilating your patient. This is important because it may cause blurry vision, especially in undercorrected hyperopes. A patient's vision should be tested at a distance of 20 feet or 6 meters from the Snellen chart. While checking vision, the patient can be uncorrected, corrected, or pinhole. If a patient can achieve 20-20 or 20-25 visual acuity, there is no need for pinhole testing. A pinhole occluder minimizes the effects of refractive error and other optical imperfections. By convention, vision in the right eye is checked first, followed by the left. We'll start by checking your right eye first and then your left eye. So I'll have you hold that and look through the right eye. And do you see that projected chart in the distance? Yes. Great, so read me the letters that you see there. Have the patient start by reading the letters on the top rows of the chart. M. They need to be able to read at least half the letters or numbers on that line in order to graduate to the next line. The smallest row that can be read accurately indicates the visual acuity in that specific eye, and this should be recorded in the patient chart. If a person has a visual acuity of 2040, this means that they can see detail from 20 feet away that a person with normal eyesight could see from 40 feet away. If the patient was able to read all but one letter in the 2040 line, this should be recorded as 2040 minus 1. If they were able to read all but two letters, it would be recorded as 2040 minus 2. After measuring visual acuity in the right eye, repeat the same process on the left. Ensure that all results are recorded in the patient chart. You can also check for near vision by using a Snellen reading card. Nine, eight, two.